It's Joe, and this is my next project. Okay, here we are at the end of August, and most of it is dead. I think it died pretty good. If I wanted any deader than that, I may have to hit it again. There's a few little green spots, but not much. I think it worked pretty good and I didn't have to do it again. All right, off to the next project. What's next around here? All right, here's the next little video, little addition to the home build. We really haven't broken ground yet. We have saved up a little extra lumber from some of the other builds that I'm doing. There's always some lumber, a little bit of lumber left over with nail holes or it's uh, in such a shape that the lumber company won't take it back. So I'm keeping it. The freeze really kind of killed my little uh, gardenias there, but they're coming back. I guess it didn't kill them. They're gonna come back. We killed the grass through here. And I'm just trying to get some stuff done before we actually break ground. We killed the grass all in there. You probably saw that video. Very exciting, but has to be done. Uh, Kay was nice enough to bring her crew over here and stack all these roof tiles on pallets. And I'm gonna get the bobcat, get the forks on the bobcat, and I'll move all these. I'll use just a few of these. I've, uh, you can see, I've knocked a hole in the front of the school and I can put, I, I put a, a ruler up on the scaffolding where I can stand in the street, look through the hole and determine where the eave height is gonna be. I want the eave height right about, right about the view area You'll see just a little bit of the house when you drive through there. This tree's going, these three trees are going pretty quick now. I think this tree's going, whatever this other is, we'll leave the two pines. And I know some of you people don't like the pines. Anyway, I have to get electricity from around the corner over here through this concrete. And they have to be separated by at least several feet so i'm going to cut this out through here and then the house is going to stick out from this giant footer it's going to come out here about seven feet and go off there it'll have a little seven feet more than this footer uh, these footers for the school they're a foot thick they go down about three feet and they tee out three feet. So they are just, they're not movable, but I'm gonna move these. I don't know what this little trough is here. There was a kitchen here at one time. We're gonna get rid of all that. So I guess today's project is going to be, I'm gonna put these bricks on pallets where I can move them with the forklift and I'm not moving all of these. I think I can get away with just hand moving a few of these stacks. So that's the exciting, the excitement that's happening today. I'm gonna put this on time lapse so you get to enjoy it. All right, that's one pile down. It didn't take very long. I've got one, two, three, four, four or five piles left. I think I can get two or three piles per pallet. Easy peasy. All right, now I got this pile to move and I just watched the video of stacking that pallet in fast motion and that was kind of fun. I'm gonna get a little closer shot and let's do it on this one. I won't bore, I won't bore you with it all day, but I want to see it again. Maybe I can do a better job. Hang in there.
when I first got this place. This is an old, old school. It had burned down and I moved into it. And I may have said this on some of the other videos. Anyway, I had a big steel plate over this door because people were coming in and especially on Halloween. Anyway, so I built this thing out of old two by sixes and uh, rivets and stuff. And we're about to start building right back there. So I'm gonna go around and we're gonna take this, take this door down. I wonder what I'm gonna do with it. I may stand it up. I may stand it up over here or over there or something. Anyway, let's walk around here. I gotta get rid of all these bushes. I think there's a little English ivy. I dumped over a pot of, a pot of English ivy in here once. It looks like it's barely taken off a little bit here and there. I'm not even sure if I want that stuff there. But anyway, let's walk around here for a minute. We'll look at this door from the back side. The front of the porch is gonna be about where this tripod is. And this is just some made up stuff out of these old Russon boards. And I think what holds them on is a screw here. <clears throat> and then a screw, a couple of screws here and I can get it off. And then this, this whole big door thing is held on with this and this. And I'll show you what I did. I put some screws on the end of it and some rubber pads and it just presses against both sides of this brick right there. I just unscrew those, unscrew this bolt out of here and it just kind of compressed it in between there. But let me see if I can get all that stuff off of there in a reasonable time to make this video not too long. I'll tell you what, why don't I just stop it and I will put it on time lapse. Let me move you back here. I don't know how much you want to see of this. Maybe too much already. This is before we ever start. We're gonna start cutting concrete tomorrow. Right over here. I'm gonna cut some of that concrete over there on the other side, kinda of, kinda of behind this car where I can get the electricity and the gas through here. All right. There you go, I'm gonna shut you off for just a second. And then I'm gonna put you on time lapse. And there we are, open one again. Hadn't been open in 20 years. Nobody's walked through there. We'll walk through here, have some kind of brick sidewalk, be on the porch here. Front door is gonna be right about here. So, cool, let's get started. <laughs> 